Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve two interesting examples based on energy and power of discrete signal. First of all, let me discuss about basics of energy and power of discrete signal. Let us consider we have one discrete signal x of n and if you want to identify energy of discrete signal x of n, then that energy can be calculated by summation where small n varies from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the signal. And if you want to identify power of discrete signal x of n, then that power is limit capital N tends to infinite 1 divided by 2n plus 1 where small n varies from minus n to plus n square of the signal. And always remember one thing, if you have a signal that is having finite duration and finite amplitude, then those signals are energy signals. So for all finite time and amplitude signals are energy signals and with energy signal we have zero power. And if you have periodic signal, then that signal will be power signal. And for power signal, energy will be infinite, right? So these are the basics that one should take care of to identify energy and power of discrete signals. Now I will solve first example. See in first question, we need to identify energy and power of signal x of n is equals to e to the power j4n. So you need to understand this signal e to the power j4n. See here we have x of n that is e to the power j4n. See e to the power j4n that can be represented in form of sine and cosine function. One should know, see this e to the power j4n that is cos of 4n plus j sine of 4n, right? And this is periodic signal. As this is periodic signal, we need to identify power of that signal. So power will be limit capital N tends to infinite 1 divided by 2 capital N plus 1 where here small n ranges from minus n to plus n square of the signal, right? Now here see we have square of the signal and if you identify square of the signal based on this sine and cosine function then square of the signal is real component square plus imaginary component square. So that is sine square theta plus cos square theta that is 1. So this square of the signal that is unity over here. So power calculation that will be capital N tends to infinite 1 divided by 2n plus 1 where this small n ranges from minus n to plus n and the square of the signal that is unity over here. Right. Now if you do summation where n ranges from minus n to plus n. Right. So what is that summation? That summation will be starting from minus n. Then it will go up to 0. Right. So from minus n to 1 in total summation will be capital N then plus 1 and then from 1 to plus n if you do summation then that will be again capital N. So you can say this summation that will be limit capital N tends to infinite 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 1. Right. So that is how this summation will happen. Now if you observe this 2n plus 1 and this 2n plus 1 that is getting cancelled. So power is 1. As if power is 1 then one should know for power signal energy is infinite. Right. So here we have energy that is infinite. Now I will solve second problem. See in second problem we have signal x of n and we need to identify energy and power. If you observe signal x of n then this is not periodic signal. As this is not periodic signal, first of all I will identify energy of this signal. So what is the energy? Energy calculation is E is equals to summation where small n ranges from minus infinite to plus infinite square of the signal. Right. Now we need to understand this signal. Here you see we have two different range. One range that is there as per 
n is greater than or equal to 0. So with first range, here we have range from n is equals to 0 to plus infinite. At that time, square of this function, that will be 1 by 2 to the power n. And square of it, that will be 1 by 2 to the power 2n. Or you can write 1 by 4 to the power n. Right. So here, let me write 1 by 4 to the power n. See here we have square. So 1 by 2 square, that will be 1 by 4 to the power n. Right. And if you observe second range. So second range, that is there with n is lower than 0. Means n range is from minus 1 to minus infinite. And here also we need to have square of this. So square of this, that will be 3 to the power 2n or you can say 9 to the power n. Right. Now, we need to simplify this equation further. Let me explain why we are simplifying this. See here, for summation where n ranges from 0 to infinite, we have standard equation. That is, as if we have a to the power n, then that resultant is 1 divided by 1 minus a. But here we have minus 1 to minus infinite. If I can convert this in form of 1 to infinite, then we have a standard equation that is a divided by 1 minus a. So first of all, let me rearrange this. So here we have this first term that we can resolve, right? So I'm not doing any change in this. But in this second term, if I consider n to be negative, right? Then here n will be ranging from 1 to infinite. And instead of plus n, here there will be minus n. And instead of minus n, if you write n, then here we will be having 1 divided by 9. Right. Now let me explain standard equations for this too. See, if you have a calculation where summation of n ranges from 0 to infinite, a to the power n is there. In that case, answer is 1 divided by 1 minus a. And if you have summation where n ranges from 1 to infinite is there and a to the power n is given, in that case answer is a divided by 1 minus a. So these are the equations that one should know to resolve addition of series. Right. Now, if I apply this calculation, then this calculation, now that will be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 plus this calculation that will be 1 by 9 divided by 1 minus 1 by 9. So 1 divided by 3 by 4 that is 4 by 3 and see 1 by 9 divided by 8 by 9. So that will be 1 by 8. And if you further solve this then 8 into 4 32 and this 3 will come here. So 35 divided by 24 that is what energy right. So energy is there in terms of joule and if you have energy which is finite then power is zero. So this is how simply we can solve questions based on energy and power for a discrete signal. You need to do practice right based on practice only you can improve your accuracy. So just do practice along with engineering funda. Thank you so much for watching this video.